All right, so this challenge uh, can be tricky. Um, just gonna wanna kinda do the same as the last challenge. Take your time, maybe play it a couple of times just to practice. Every time you sink a putt, you're gonna move forward and it's gonna give you a new putt to do. Um, if you can keep sinking them one after the other, your multiplier will keep going up and you'll have a better chance of getting the three stars. But I mean, even if you don't sink all of them, and you go back to the first putt, it's still very doable to get, you know, two stars at least. So like I said, take your time, be patient, try it a couple of times, practice the different putts, and uh, you shouldn't have too much of an issue with it. Alright, so this challenge is actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Basically, you got four targets and they're going to light up a certain pattern in which you have to hit them in. You've got nine shots to do it. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is aim just before the target, depending on which one you're going for. Just right before it, give it about eight rotations of backspin and you'll land about center of the target every time. After you do it about six times, um, then you can use your sticky boost for the remaining three shots to make sure that you're going to land on the target for sure. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Just like I said, eight rotations of backspin, aim before the target, and you shouldn't have any issue hitting them. Alright, so another easy challenge, all we're going to want to do is get the ball into the hole the fewest shots possible. The best way to do it, to get an easy three stars, is aim your tee shot to the center of that green plate. And uh, after you shatter it and your ball bounces, as it's rolling towards the hole, use your sticky boost just as you're reaching the pin to uh, make sure you got a nice short, easy putt. 
and then putt for birdie and you have an easy three stars. Alright, so this challenge can be a huge pain. What you're going to want to do is hit your tee shot onto the bouncy pads and hopefully if you're lucky hit one pad after the other and eventually land on the green. Um, for the first try here <laughs> I used my uh, nudge boost to make sure I was hitting the pads but unfortunately I used all my energy on one shot so that didn't do me a whole lot of good. So what I did for my second shot here, and it seemed to work fairly good for me, the bottom left corner there, the sticky pad, there's kind of a little hill, a little bump or whatever, and if you aim for that, it seems to work. I added quite a bit of topspin as well on this shot, aimed it slightly to the top left, and if you're lucky, the rolls will work out, you'll hit the pads, end up on the green. Um, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot of advice for this challenge. I only walked away with one star, and I ended up missing one of my shots and landing in the rough, which took away about 50 points. So what I ended up doing for my final shot was shooting it like 10 feet in front of me just to make sure I ended up on the green and didn't lose any more points. Because for the one star, you need 3,750, and I had 3,750 on the dot, so I couldn't afford to attempt another run at the challenge and risk landing in the rough and losing 50 points and one star. So, I don't know, just uh, trial and error, I guess. Just keep trying it and uh, hope for the best. If you can get one star out of it, like I mentioned in previous videos, you don't need three stars in every challenge in order to get the Supernova Trophy. So if you can get at least one star on this this challenge, then uh, right on. Continue on to the next one. And if uh, you can end up getting two, three stars on this, great job.
Okay, so this challenge is pretty straightforward. All we're going to want to do is hit the ball into the hole, few shots possible. Um, in order to get more stars, you're going to want to hit some of your shots through these rings for some extra points. What I did was I shot relatively short down the fairway, which allowed me for my second shot to shape the shot to the left in order to hit the two targets towards the right and after you hit those two targets you will land just in front of the third ring in which you will hit through to land on the green um, it'll take a bit of trial and error just to uh, figure out what shot to use you're gonna want to lower your trajectory in order to hit through the third target as well as land as close to the pin as possible and what you're going to want to do is activate your sticky boost um, after you take your shot that way you have the easiest putt possible and uh, an easy two stars Alright, so for this challenge, like previous challenges we've done before, we are going to want to hit our ball into these buckets. Um, the blue buckets are worth 200, the green buckets 300, the red 400, and finally the yellow 500. Personally, I hate these challenges. It seems like no matter what I do, whether I use the sticky boost or apply a lot of spin, I cannot get the ball to stick in some of these buckets. So I decided to say screw the yellow buckets and went for the red. I used all of my sticky boosts on the red and then uh, tried a couple of shots with it, got some, missed some, and then just went for the green. Much bigger target, a lot easier to land. So yeah, I don't know, depending on your skill level, if you're able to hit the yellow buckets by all means, that's the only way you're going to get three stairs. Um, if you're having trouble with the yellow buckets, try going for the red using the sticky boost. And then after your stickies are gone, move over to the green. Or even just try it with a bit of backspin on the reds, and you might be able to get it. Um, even if you're not going for the yellows to get three stars, doing it the way I did it, you can still get two stars at least, so it's not too bad. <laughs>
Okay, and for this challenge, we are going to want to hit our ball through the portals and hopefully find the target zone that we want to land on to accumulate points. Unfortunately, a lot of this just comes down to sheer luck as the portals change the destination every time. So two of your portals are going to land in a bunker, like my first shot here. And one of the portals will land on a 250 point target, one portal will land on a 500 point target, and then finally one portal will land on the target zone. So whenever you do happen to find the target zone, unfortunately again, it's going to come down to sheer luck. The first time I tried recording this, where it was putting my ball after going through the portal, it was near impossible for me to actually hit the target. It was uh, sending me to one end of the fairway when the target zone was on the other end. So I had to retry it a couple of times, get a couple of good locations. After that, um, I just hit the portal over and over, gave it a bunch of top spin to roll up to the target, and as it's rolling by the center, of the target, um, I used my sticky boost in order to hold on. Um, once I ran out of that, I uh, had a few nudge, a, few, a little bit of energy left to use my nudge boost, so I kind of used that to stick on. It's really, it's not a hard challenge, it just comes down to uh, luck of the draw, really. So just try it a couple of times, see where the target spawns and uh, the kind of shot you have through the portal landing onto the green and uh, you shouldn't have any issues getting at least two stars on this challenge.